Today marks the moment Apple users around the world have been waiting for. macOS Tahoe 26 is now available to download. The rollout is happening globally, simultaneously for everyone, regardless of region. The list of supported devices is quite broad. At the top are all computers built on Apple Silicon, starting with the very first generation of the M1 chip. This means owners of Mac Mini, iMac, MacBook Air, and MacBook Pro with M1 and newer can install the update without hesitation. Support extends all the way to the latest M4 Max models, including the current 16-inch MacBook Pro. Apple has not forgotten about older Intel-based Macs either. Still supported are the 16-inch MacBook Pro from 2019, the 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2020 with four Thunderbolt 3 ports, the 27-inch iMac from 2020, and the 2019 Mac Pro. The size of the update varies depending on the device and the version you are upgrading from. For example, on one of the new M4 Max MacBook Pro models, the installer was just over 10 gigabytes, while on other devices, it can be as large as 15 gigabytes. Make sure you set aside enough time and have a reliable internet connection before you begin. The first thing that stands out after installation is a completely new design language called Liquid Glass. Apple has applied it everywhere, from app icons to windows and system menus. Icons now appear more three-dimensional, with effects of refraction and reflection that create the impression of a glass surface. Finder, Safari, Mail, Music, and the App Store all feature updated symbols that seem to glow from within. Some third-party apps haven't been updated yet, so you might notice a gray background behind their icons, but that's temporary, as developers are already rolling out updates to match the new visual style. The liquid glass effect also appears in widgets. Just look at the battery indicator, or the elements of control center. Everything shimmers, reflects, and gives a sense of depth. After installing the update, what immediately stands out is not only the refreshed icons, but also the way the dock and control center now work. Apple has focused on flexibility. You can now switch between three main icon styles. Dark, blending seamlessly with dark mode and offering stronger contrast. Clear, creating a subtle glass effect, perfect for those who prefer minimalism. Tinted, allowing you to apply color themes for easier visual organization of workspaces. Switching between these modes is instant. Just open system settings and choose the appearance you like. Some will enjoy the classic look, others will prefer vibrant colors, and minimalists can stick with the translucent option. Apple's message is clear. Mac OS should look the way you want it to. Another detail is the menu bar. By default, it's now completely transparent, almost blending into the desktop background. For many, this will feel unusual, since the solid white or black bar was always a familiar anchor. But there's no need to worry. Settings include a switch to restore the traditional background. The choice is yours. Full minimalistic transparency or a more defined separation at the top of the screen. Control Center has not only been redesigned with the liquid glass style, but has also come to life with animations. Every slider and toggle now responds to user actions with a soft bounce or a glowing highlight. For example, when adjusting display brightness, the icon briefly fills with a glass-like glow before returning to its regular state. New customization options have also been added. You can place extra elements such as a battery indicator with a low power mode button, quick access to the clock, or automation shortcuts. Apple has even opened the door for third-party extensions, allowing developers to integrate their own mini panels. This transforms Control Center into a true command hub, putting everything within reach, from music and Bluetooth controls to script launches. Window management has also been improved with an updated tiling system. With a single click, you can snap windows to the left, right, or corners of the screen. It's similar to what Windows users have had for years, but executed with Apple's signature smoothness. Drag an app to the edge, and it neatly locks into place, taking up the right portion of your workspace. In this way, the new macOS makes familiar elements more dynamic and customizable. Everything feels smooth, visually polished, and at the same time, highly functional. One of the areas Apple focused on in macOS Tahoe 26 is the lock screen and desktop. 
they are no longer just technical elements, but have become a true space for personalization. The lock screen clock now comes in six different styles, ranging from strict minimalist typography to more artistic designs with fine strokes and smooth serifs. Customization goes further. You can adjust the weight of the font, changing its thickness and boldness. For those who like a striking visual effect, there's also a liquid glass option, making the clock shimmer against the wallpaper. Apple has introduced an entire collection of new dynamic wallpapers. Special attention has been given to the landscapes of Lake Tahoe, which gave the system its name. Morning, day, evening, and night are presented as separate scenes, smoothly shifting with the time of day. At sunset, the water surface reflects soft highlights, and at night, gentle animations of the starry sky appear. These are not just static backgrounds, they add to the overall atmosphere of the system. Beyond Tahoe, other collections are available. Landscapes. Mountains, forests, deserts, cityscapes, modern skylines with lighting and architecture, underwater views, creating the effect of being deep in the ocean, classic colorful gradients, a recognizable hallmark of Mac OS. For those who dislike monotony, there is a new option for automatic wallpaper rotation. You can set images to change daily, hourly, or each time you log in. Apple also placed special emphasis on synchronization. Change the desktop background once, and it can instantly appear across all spaces and even the screensaver. This creates a unified look instead of a fragmented one. The screensaver itself has also been updated. It now supports the same clock styles and animations as the lock screen. Want the time to appear beautifully over rippling water or a glowing night skyline? It can be done in just a couple of clicks. This attention to detail shows that Apple's vision for macOS is not just a tool, but an environment you'll enjoy spending time in every day. Another major change in macOS Tahoe 26 is how Apple has reimagined working with apps in search. The familiar launchpad is gone. It has been completely replaced by a new section called Applications. This is essentially a modern hub where all programs are grouped into categories. You can quickly switch to work and finance, entertainment, or utilities. The order can be rearranged manually, and unnecessary icons can be hidden. The standout feature of this new section is integration with iPhone. If mirroring is enabled on your Mac and supported in your region, all installed iOS apps can appear right on your desktop. That means familiar tools like banking apps or messaging clients can now run directly in macOS. They launch natively, without workarounds, and even support notifications. Now let's talk about Spotlight. In macOS Tahoe, it has become much smarter. Alongside the standard search for files and apps, several new sections have been added. Actions, letting you run commands directly from search, such as creating a note, adding a calendar event, sending a message, or composing an email. Clipboard, a built-in log where copied items are stored. Spotlight can recognize whether you copied text, a link, or an image, while automatically excluding passwords to keep sensitive information safe. Applications and files, separated into dedicated tabs for easier navigation. Spotlight can now act as a mini-browser. By typing the name of a website and pressing tab, you can search within that site instantly. For example, YouTube tab video title, and macOS will show the results right away. Apple has also added support for quick commands. You can create your own shortcuts for routine tasks. Typing SM could send a pre-written message, while AR might create a reminder. This makes it possible to fully personalize your workflow. What's more, Spotlight has become context-aware. It analyzes which app you are currently using and offers relevant options. Copy a link in Safari, and Spotlight might suggest turning it into a reminder. Save an image in Photos, and it can suggest editing or sending it through messages. Together, the new Applications Hub and the upgraded Spotlight make working in macOS Tahoe faster, smarter, and far more flexible. macOS Tahoe 26 takes another step toward making the Mac a flexible tool that adapts to the user's habits. Shortcuts and Automation the Shortcuts app has received a significant upgrade. You can now build complete automation scenarios, triggering actions at specific times of day, when connecting to a certain Wi-Fi network, or when an external display is attached. For example, in the evening, your Mac could automatically switch on Do Not Disturb, 
open a music playlist, and launch a note for journaling. Apple has expanded the Shortcuts gallery with new options, including tools powered by Apple Intelligence. Shortcuts can now summarize PDF documents, analyze text, and respond to new triggers related to battery status or charging. For those who prefer traditional workflows, Automator is still available, but it's clear that Apple is positioning Shortcuts as the future of automation on Mac. Finder and File Organization Finder has also been noticeably improved. It is no longer just a window for browsing folders, but has become a more powerful tool for organizing files. The biggest change is the ability to assign icons and colors to folders. By opening the context menu, you can choose from dozens of built-in glyphs, such as stars, check marks, hearts, or even add emojis. The color highlights sync with tags, so the system automatically helps structure your projects. This turns Finder into a visual map. Work projects can be marked with blue folder icons, personal documents with yellow locks, and creative ideas with green light bulbs. All of this is immediately reflected in Spotlight Search. Refreshed Finder Interface. Beyond icons, Apple has redesigned the interface itself. Folders now display larger image previews, while the sidebar looks cleaner and less cluttered. The entire Finder adopts a subtle liquid glass effect, making windows feel brighter and more airy. Together, these changes make Mac OS feel less like simple file storage and more like an environment that actively helps you create order and structure. In Mac OS Tahoe 26, Apple placed a strong emphasis on making communication simpler and more convenient, whether you use messages, FaceTime, or phone calls. Real-time translation. In messages, you can now enable automatic translation of conversations. Just choose your contact's language, and the system instantly translates both incoming and outgoing messages. Supported languages include English, US and UK, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Brazilian Portuguese. This is especially useful for those working with international teams or traveling frequently. Translation isn't limited to messages. It's also built into FaceTime and the brand new phone app for Mac. Phone app calls can now be made and received directly on the Mac without extra steps. The interface looks different from iOS, but the functionality is the same. A digital keypad for dialing numbers, call hold and auto answer features, call screening to identify unwanted callers and filter out spam, hold assist to wait on hold for an operator so you don't have to. Essentially, the Mac becomes a second iPhone with everything working seamlessly through synchronization, no manual switching required verification codes, and 2FA. Apple has also streamlined working with two-factor authentication codes. Previously, autofill worked only in Safari, but now it's supported in third-party browsers such as Chrome and Firefox, as well as apps like Google Voice. When you log into an account and receive a code by SMS or email, macOS automatically fills it in the correct field. No more switching to messages or mail to copy codes manually. Safari. The updated Safari has a lighter, more modern look. Tabs now use the liquid glass style with a translucent top bar that shifts its shade depending on the page content. The compact tab mode is gone, but Apple redesigned the bookmarks and history sidebar, making it closer to iOS. The changes are more than visual. Speed has improved by about 50%, and now the browser protects against digital fingerprinting even in regular browsing mode, something previously limited to private windows. As a result, Safari is faster, safer, and more unified with its mobile versions. Journal with iOS 26, the Journal app has arrived on Mac. It allows you to keep entries organized by category, work, personal, travel. You can create multiple journals, assign colors and icons, and add photos, emojis, or quick notes. For many, this will replace third-party journaling and habit-tracking apps. Everything syncs through iCloud, so your entries are available across all devices. Apple Games. Another addition is the Games app. It combines Apple Arcade, your game library, and social features. Here you can see what your friends are playing, view achievements and leaderboards, launch games from a single hub. When a game starts, a new game overlay appears, showing achievements, stats, and which friends are online. Gamepad support has also been improved. 
controllers like the PlayStation 5 DualSense can be connected and switched more easily. Graphics are smoother thanks to metal FX interpolation and denoising, and laptops benefit from a dedicated low power mode for longer playtime on battery. Live Activities macOS Tahoe 26 also introduces live activities, familiar to iPhone users. Through iPhone mirroring, you can track events directly on your Mac. Uber Eats deliveries, flight status, package tracking. These activities appear in the top menu bar and sync with notifications. There's no need to keep your phone at hand. Everything is right on your computer. The photos and music apps have also been refreshed with the liquid glass style. In photos, a new collections section lets you group images by events, locations, or manually. The sidebar is more convenient. Pinned albums now appear in a dedicated pinned category. Images are displayed larger and search is faster and more accurate. In music, navigation has been updated, sidebars are smoother, transitions are animated, and the background adapts to the artwork of the album or playlist. This creates a sense of unity, as if the interface moves together with the content. New accessibility features. Apple has placed special focus on accessibility. A standalone magnifier app now lets you use the Mac's camera, or even your iPhone's camera, to zoom in on distant objects. It's useful for lectures, meetings, or reading fine text. The accessibility reader transforms on-screen text, allowing you to change font, background, and color, and even enable voice reading with word highlighting. Full support for Braille displays has been added with a redesigned interface. Vehicle motion cues are now available on Mac, showing visual motion points to help reduce motion sickness while working on the go. Apple Intelligence. In macOS Tahoe 26, Apple is gradually rolling out Apple Intelligence. The built-in image playground lets you create illustrations, sketches, emojis, and even animations. You can choose styles such as watercolor, oil painting, or vector, and adjust parameters. The results sync with notes and journal. It's not yet a full replacement for professional AI generators, but it's an important step. Apple is integrating these tools directly into the system, making them accessible to everyone. Terminal. Even Terminal has received attention. It now supports 24-bit color, modern powerline fonts, and a translucent liquid glass design. For those who frequently work in the command line, this means not only functionality, but also a more pleasant visual experience. Altogether, macOS Tahoe 26 feels less like a small update and more like a new stage in the evolution of the Mac. The fully refreshed liquid glass design makes the system cohesive and modern. Spotlight and applications speed up workflows and add intelligence. New communication tools and live activities bring the Mac closer to the iPhone. Safari, Finder, Photos, and Music have all received meaningful upgrades. Accessibility and Apple intelligence point toward the future of the platform. This is not just another version of macOS. It's a step toward an ecosystem where the Mac becomes more personal, more intelligent, and more convenient. And the key question, should you update? The answer is clear, yes. Tahoe 26 delivers so many changes that skipping it simply isn't an option.